Hi everyone, it's Anne from soulconnections.net. Today I'm going to talk more about the twin flame connection. In the last video I explained more about the twin flame connection and what they go through. Many of you have been writing me and asking if I could explain more about the twin flame runner and chaser. And also what do runners feel during the runner phase. I was a runner in my twin flame connection at the very beginning and many of you already know. And you can read more about my situation in my blog. Um, the link is on the bottom. Later, I will be posting a video devoted to my husband and I and our experience. So let's start now with the instant compelled energy when twin flame spirits meet. Now, as I mentioned in the previous videos, they can go through like different types of challenges and tests in order to find each other. It never happens at the most convenient time of their life. Usually they can be in other relationships, having a money issue, or just living miles apart from each other. So just looking at the surface, there are so many practical reasons why these two should not be together. It's, it's very common for them to have an age difference and um, culture or religion difference. The list goes on but they still manage to be together no matter what. So when they first meet, something magical happens between them two. And, and this is something that I call the, um, the honeymoon phase. And it could go on for a little while. But little by little, as things slowly start to settle in, one half becomes more awakened, and the other may not be completely awake or aware and may need time to realize what this connection means. This can take time. Now with twin flames there's one half who is the, the stronger vessel and they, they understand that deeper energy that they share together. This is referred to as the chaser. But when there is a breakup or some kind of separation this chaser never has closure, and they're always looking for answers, or um, they know that there's something there that's between them two that needs to um, be reevaluated, reconnected in some type of way. So the energy that the chaser feels for the other half is so extreme that they never, go, they never can move on. They can't leave that person go completely. They can't cut the ties. No matter what they say, they, there is no such thing of cutting the ties. Later, I will make more videos about this um, topic, but in reality, this cannot be done. Chasers may find it that they can be with someone else um, just for, the, for the, a short period of time, maybe someone that's compatible to them. But in the long run, once the twin flame runner awakens, there is nothing that's going to separate the twin flame chaser. So the chaser's life changes completely. Um, nothing will erase or duplicate what they feel for their other half. Actually, the runner and the chaser are both runners. They both go through life lessons, just trying to find their center. And later they can become stairs. And this can take time. So you may wonder how long before um, the runner awakens. Well, it actually varies. Everyone's situation is a little different, and everybody has their own um, lessons that they need to learn. So um, when the runner just runs away without any warning, um, the chaser feels like this intense surge of energy that it's at the point where they'll do anything to try to help the runner get back together and to connect that the connection back together, a twin flame energy, what they shared once before. So the twin flame runners first need to um, learn how to love themselves, and this resonates with their love that they can actually feel with inside themselves, that they can be totally aware of what their other half is feeling. So they can come together. So don't, don't underestimate a runner, a twin flame runner. They can come back together with their chaser, with the chaser and the runner can come back together. Um, twin flame energy connections, um, once they're complete, they have to be ready. So keeping in mind, chasing is not always going to speed up things. During the merge process of both twin souls, they both need to be strong. Twin flame connections both have a mission in this life just to be together. And once they come together as one, they're both balanced and, and they can live in harmony. So 
I hope you found this video helpful in your um, soulmate and twin flame journey. I will be posting more videos on this topic in the future. I wish you all the best. And if you'd like to learn more, uh, please subscribe to my website and uh, visit my website. And you could also uh, subscribe to this channel as well. So take care and God bless. See ya. Till next time.